Hi, Dr. Sandeep and Dr. Srikant. My relative has lung cancer. Could you please tell me the stages, survival rate and prognosis of lung cancer? Like any other cancer, lung cancer also is divided into various stages. Now, when it comes to practical approach to this, we would say a localized disease, a regional disease and a, you know, advanced disease. Now, an early cancer is a stage 1 and 2 cancer. A regional cancer is a stage 3 cancer and an advanced cancer is a stage 4 cancer. Now, patients with stage 1 and 2 cancer do well. Stage 3 cancers are intermediate where the lymph nodes are involved and stage 4 cancers are advanced cancers and they don't tend to do well. We can't give a cure for these patients. Now, as we go on with this series of videos, in the next few episodes, we'll be discussing about these various stages of cancer in more detail and we'll understand the nuances of the treatment and their prognosis. Every cancer should be treated in a stepwise manner. Once you are diagnosed with a lung cancer, the next important step is staging. So why do we need staging? Staging helps doctors to communicate among themselves and it also helps to predict the prognosis of the patient and it also helps in deciding the treatment plan which we are going to give them for the patient. So it's a very important step. Lung cancers are mainly divided into small cell lung cancers and non-small cell lung cancers which comprise nearly 95% of the common lung cancers. Remaining 5% are very rare tumours. Small cell lung cancers are mainly in the central part of the lung and these are aggressive tumours and they spread very fast. So these are mainly staged into two that is limited stage small cell lung cancer and extensive small cell lung cancers. Apart from this, small cell lung cancers comprise only 10% of all lung cancers. Apart from this, 80 to 90% of the cancers are mainly non-small cell lung cancers. Non-small cell lung cancers are staged by TNM staging. So, once you are diagnosed with lung cancer, based on the tumor size, involvement of nodes and the spread of disease to elsewhere in the body, you will be given a staging. This non-small cell lung cancers are staged from stage 1 to stage 4 and these stages are again subdivided into stage 1a, 1b like that. So depending on your stage, we can predict your prognosis. So why is this important? So the lesser the number, the early the stage is. So stage 1 is the early stage cancer and stage 4 is a metastatic cancer where it has spread to elsewhere in the body. If you are belonging to stage 1, the survival is going to be very good and the response or the prognosis to the treatment is also going to be good. For example, stage 1 lung cancer has survival, of, we call something called as 5 year survival rate. For stage 1 lung cancers, 5 year survival rate is above 70%. It's again subdivided. Stage 1a lung cancers has survival rate up to 92% also. Stage 2 lung cancers have survival rate up to from 50 to 70 percent stage 3 has 30 to 40 percent survival rate and stage 4 has 5 year survival rate less than 10 percent here you can understand the importance of early detection so the earlier the stage the survival is going to be better